Hi, and welcome to Population Pyramid Revision with Mr Mercer. What you're seeing in front of you is an LEDC's Population Pyramid. You know that because it's got a wide bottom, generally triangular shape, and a narrow top. Now, in a question of this nature, you'll be asked to describe the graph and to explain your observations. But first of all, let's just make sure you understand what a population pyramid is. Well, what you've got are the different bars of the graph, separating male and female to either side of the graph. Every new generation of children that is born will add a new layer to the bottom of the graph. And as time goes by, people die and fall off the top of the graph. A bit like this. There we are. A new generation is born, adding a new layer to the bottom of the graph, pushing the rest of the population up. The bottom of the graph is wide because a lot of babies are being born. The top is narrow because a lot of people are dying very rapidly. The quicker the shape of the pyramid narrows, the more rapidly people are dying. OK, so descriptions. There are various descriptions we can make. A high birth rate. The wide bottom shows a high birth rate. There's your first description. There's a high infant mortality rate. We know this because the first line here, the most recent generation of children, drops quite dramatically off into this next generation of children here, showing that um, there must something must have happened to a large number of children. So there's a high infant mortality rate. There's a high death rate. The steeper the line between the bottom of the graph and the top of the graph means the higher the death rate. There's a low life expectancy and a low economically active population, meaning that there is a high child dependent population. What this means is, is that the number of people who are of working age between children at the bottom and elderly dependent people at the top is small and therefore the ratio of children, in this instance, who are relying upon those economically active people to provide for them through taxation um, or just through feeding them and providing them with clothing, is high. There is a high child-dependent population. Each of the yellow boxes you see would be a valid description. This question is going to go for around about 8, 9, maximum 10 marks, and therefore you can see how you can quickly build marks here. If you can say two or three sensible things about maybe one or two, two or three of these boxes, then you'll do just fine. So let's get started. The high birth rate, what explanations can we give for this? Well, the high birth rate in an LEDC can be to do with a lack of family planning. It can be to do with a lack of available contraception. It could be due to do with um, the fact that children are used as a workforce on the land or to do with the fact that children are needed to care for the elderly or infirm. Those are four valid explanations. If you check your notes, you'll find there are many others. Moving on to the high death rate, we have the high death rate because of high uh, rates of disease, poor rates of sanitation, um, poor access to sanitation, poor access to health care. Perhaps there is more likelihood of war or conflict in LEDCs. There is poor nutrition, meaning a poor res resistance to disease. There's four or five reasons for a high death rate. Now, as you can see, four reasons for the death rate, four reasons for the birth rate, plus these descriptions, that math adds up very easily into a strong answer. This kind of question should be bread and butter for you, so make sure you understand it. I've ho I hope that's helped. If you have any problems, come into class and find me and ask me some questions. Okay, thanks, bye.